what's up everybody on this wonderful Saturday. It's beautiful outside. I hope you guys had an opportunity to go out. I have been out pretty much all day since this morning. Um, it is now almost 4.30 and it's been a busy day, but it's been productive. It's been good and I'm happy about it. So I just wanted to come by really quick with a Ulta haul. Yes, so I am preparing for this tutorial, guys. Like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stop putting it off. Like, I, I'm going to do it. So I said I need to get a few things. I need to rebuild my kit here at home. You guys, I really haven't bought new makeup in a long, long time. I have no need too. Like I hardly wear it myself. I don't uh, work anymore right now. So, or I don't work doing faces. I do work, but not on faces right now. Um, so I don't have a need to shop for makeup. So I said, let me get a few things from Ulta today. And man, it was busy, busy. I'm like, I know it's Saturday. It's the weekend. It's usually busy. And then I thought to myself, why is it so busy? And then I realized Oh man, it is prom season. Is it proms today? Anybody having a prom today? Uh, because I'm kind of out of the loop, y'all. I'm kind of out of the loop of things. But anyway, I needed to buy a few things. So let me show you what I got. All right. The first thing I purchased, which is an all-time fave of mine. Where is it? Sorry for the noise, y'all. The rustling of the bag on camera is not cool. All right. What? So I got my Fenty foundation. I absolutely love Fenty foundation. It just looks so beautiful on my skin. And I really, 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 really like it. Um, and I'm going to talk about a few foundations that I've tried so far over the summer. Uh, well, I did purchase... A new foundation um, about two months ago and it was cute for a minute but <sighs> Fenty is better and I'll talk about that on my uh, up and coming tutorial video but I got some Fenty had to get that I also got the Fenty matchstick in the color espresso okay should I take it out the box? Is that what you're supposed to do for these uh, things? I mean, these, you know, matchsticks. <laughs> okay. And we're not going to edit that out. That's just going to be there. All right, Fenty. All right. <laughs> okay, Riri. Um... Fenty Matchstick in Espresso, right here. I love it. Oh, let me just pull this out too, since we pulling stuff out the boxes. <laughs> my Fenty in 440. That is my color. We also got some lashes. Now these are, I don't know if these are new or not, but um. They're new to me. I have always been a big fan of Ardell lashes. I've been wearing Ardell since forever. Like they are my go-to favorite. Um, I just like them. They're consistent. And I usually wear their Demi Wispy. I think they are, they add drama, but also have a natural look as well. So I think anybody can wear Demi Wispies and look good in them so it's my favorite but this is called naked lashes blends seamlessly with invisiband so they have more of like a flirty look so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see i'm gonna see what they look like on me okay um of course i got some adhesive duo i have NYX Thick It Stick It Brow. Okay. This is supposed to be um, like those fibers 
to help your brows look fuller and thicker. I, I wear something now by e.l.f. I don't have it on right now, but um, e.l.f. has something similar like that that I put on my brows and I like. So we're going to try NYX and this is in the color Espresso. And I got my all-time fave retractable brow pencil by Wet n Wild. Yeah, so I'm going to show y'all how to hook this makeup up on a budget, okay? Because you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money uh, to look good. But you do have to have some skills. And that's what I'm going to show you when I put this video out. And so I've been wearing this pencil for... I don't know how many years now. And I really, really, really like it. All right. It's fresh. Has an angle. Ooh, I see my calluses on my hands. Ooh. I'm a crossfitter, guys. Don't judge my hands. Um, Angle. I like that because it makes it so easy to apply. And then there's a spoolie on the other end, which is helpful as well. And this is in the color medium brown. I have, oh, my eyeliner by NYX. Absolutely love it. Been wearing it for years and years and years. It's waterproof, it's cream, and I like it. I have two, I have two lip pencils here by NYX as well. One in color new truffle. I open these later, but this is just there you go, new truffle, and the other one in spice. No, nutmeg. I'm adding words. It's not there. Yeah. I also have two concealers here that I have by Morph. Okay, I have one Morph beef or Morphe. I say Morph. Morphe. <laughs> Um, I've worn that before. I've worn it before um, some time ago. Haven't worn it in a long time, so I want to see if I still like it. I got two colors: one in Rich Thirty Two Warm and Rich Twenty Eight. Okay. So these are my concealers. I also bought some primers by. Revolution. I've never used their primers before. I got one called Blur and Prime Primer. Blur and Prime. Well, you had to put Prime Primer in there. It's too many primes. Um, and then we have Matte and Fix Primer. So I got two of these to see which one I like, if I like either one of them at all. Um, and this is by Revolution. I have not been wearing primers for a minute. Like, couple of years now I've stopped wearing primers um but you know summertime is here I get really oily so I figured you know I might try wearing primers again so we're gonna give these two a try and I bought an OG y'all um <laughs> I bought LA Girl Pro Concealer now this is one I have not worn in many 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 years this used to be like a go-to favorite of mine way back in the day and they still make it y'all in the same tube they have not changed hopefully the formulation hasn't changed um this is in the color fawn um and i think this is i think this was 4.99 out of all the drugstore makeup out there i think ella girl is still probably the most drugstore ish in nature where they they kind of stay true to their drugstore vibe and probably is one of the cheaper ones out there doesn't mean that it's bad it just means that it hasn't really elevated i guess like the other ones have over the years so we're just going to see if i still like this i brought this as because this was nostalgic for real um and then another og of mine is my uh Maybelline Colossal Mascara Waterproof. I have been wearing Maybelline Mascara ever since the beginning of my makeup career. Um, it's just a go-to favorite of mine. I've used a lot of different mascaras over the years. 
um, all price points, and I always come back to Maybelline. I just do. I like it. Um, so that's it for the makeup. And y'all, listen. God is good and his mercy endures forever. I thank God for his prosperity. I thank you that I abound. I thank you, Lord, that all of my needs are met. And <laughs> but let me tell you, let me, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Can I tell you how much all of this cost? Can I just tell you? I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you. I'll tell you later. But anyway. Y'all better watch my video. That's all I got to say. Watch my video. Um, I did buy a few personal things. Look at this cute little bag I bought. It was so cute. I got it from TJ Maxx. It was only like $10. It says, get money and lipstick. Hey, yes. I thought it was so cute. So I need a new makeup bag. As a matter of fact, I'm going out of town this coming weekend. So this would be really, really cute to throw in my suitcase. And of course, some puffs. Mm, I love a good puff, especially the big ones. I really like those. And I bought some lip balm. You gotta have good lip balm. And I like these lip naturals. They are it's so good. It's just so good. Yes. I like smelling that. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. All right. So that is it for this little haul. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for my makeup tutorial. Love you guys.